city of Earl, Arkansas. But in this segment, we want to talk about um, and get his feedback on, um, because this is Black History Month, something that I think is on the minds of uh, our community across the country. And uh, I, I, I really want to... Uh, I really want him to chime in about what is happening in the state of Florida. This is Black History Month, which is the annual uh, celebration and commemoration of the contributions that Black people uh, of the past and present have made to the advancement of this country. Um, and recently, we have a governor, uh, Governor Ron DeSantis in the state of Florida, who wants to ban uh, the study of ape of African American history in Florida high schools, because according to him, it is a violation of state law. I want to know from you, Mayor uh, Smith, do you agree with what is happening in the state of Florida? Well, I strongly disagree with that. You know, um, because you can't. I mean, as you know, being a young person. Uh, and as people growing up to generations and generations to come, those, those children want to learn about the history of what happened back in the 1900s, back in those days. But I strongly disagree with that because people, not only Black people, but every every person, every color person in this country, you know, will look back and look at see what, what happened in the past to see how can they make a more better future. Right. And and you know, I know you've heard heard it said before that uh, if you don't know your past or uh, if you don't know your history, you're doomed to repeat it. And mm -hmm. and right. that is one important lesson uh, that history offers us: being able to know what happened in the past, knowing how our ancestors live, knowing and appreciating the shoulders that we stand on as African-Americans, particularly in this country, and knowing about slavery, knowing about Jim Crow, knowing about Reconstruction, knowing about the, uh, the Civil Rights Movement and those uh, different eras in, uh, in our history are vitally important to us. So, uh, you agree that what's happening in the state of Florida is um, uh, is is really a, a racist attempt to mm -hmm. uh, to keep the Afri to to basically rather erase or remove uh, African American history from uh, the curriculum in in schools in in, in Florida, right? You you yeah. I, I, I'm sorry. What yeah, you again, I, yeah. I was saying again. I strongly, you know, disagree with the governor of Florida for you know attempting to make that uh, to ban that because again, we need to know the history of what happened in the past so that we can make a more brighter future for not only us but for generations and generations to come. Exactly. You know because you know it was because when you know when Martin Luther King he advocated for black people and for the fairness of black people, you know, we're very grateful for him right. because it was, if it wasn't for him and those other civil rights leaders, we wouldn't be in the position that we're in. So we want to continue to build a brighter future for, for us all. And just with, ban with banning, with banning the history of learning about what happened in the past is just unacceptable to me. It, but exactly. as I know, I know as a leader, you know, as a leader, if that if that does happen, you know, I you know I encourage parents to still teach their kids at home what what happened in the past. Right, right. You know, even though they're trying to take it out of schools, but the parents, you know, still can teach it at home as well. Yes, absolutely. And I've I've heard that that's that's the approach that uh, some people are going to take. You know, if if it if it indeed happens. Uh, we we just found out yesterday that uh, uh, civil rights attorney Ben Crump is going to be filing a lawsuit against Governor DeSantis, uh, a class action lawsuit uh, because of this 
what we're calling a racist ban because other cultures are being taught in high schools. You know, they're learning about Japanese culture. They're learning about uh, the uh, the Italian culture. They're learning about other cultures in the high school. So why not? Why can't? Why is it that the African American culture cannot be, uh, you know, learned and um, and 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 be, you know, researched and studied in high schools as well? So um, another question I have for you, as I said, attorney. Ben Crump is planning to file a lawsuit against Governor DeSantis. And if he does not agree to negotiate with the Advanced Placement Council, uh, which is the council that uh, that that is responsible for this curriculum, uh, to allow the study of African-American history in Florida high schools, do you believe that this is the right approach, suing? and filing a class action lawsuit against uh, Governor DeSantis in the state of Florida, do you think that this is the right approach of handling uh, this type of situation? Well, with me, um, that is, I mean, that's a good approach. But the way, if I was in, if I was in the state and I lived in the state of Florida, I would approach it differently. Mm -hmm. that, that would be my that would be my last that would be my last solution. Okay. Because only, only because you know he can he can he can try to enforce that, but you have lawmakers that are there that can override him as the of the governor of the state of Florida. So, you know, and so what I would do, I would you know get a petition going with every student in the state of Florida, you know, getting all the lawmakers on board because they make the laws. Mm -hmm. They have you know even though he's the governor, they can override what he say. And so getting them on board and they get on board with that, you know, hey, and approach it that way. But a lawsuit is it's it's a it's a it's a good way as well. Because a lawsuit, you know, it make them it makes it makes them it pulls them more to the hot table even more. Mm -hmm. I, we I bring agree, that, yeah. We can bring that in there. So either approach was uh would be would be good, honestly. And I know there are people, you know, one thing that you know I, I know the everyday average citizen is is thinking about, you know, how can I push back against this racist policy? What what options do we have? And, you know, suing, filing a lawsuit against the, the state of Florida and Governor DeSantis is definitely one approach. Uh, what you're also saying is that the, the students in the, the state of Florida can come together, create a petition and, you know, and have uh, these this petition signed with a million signatures and and uh, or a hundred thousand signatures or whatever the number is, and submit that to the legislature to show them that they are against this policy, and that is a way that they can make their voices heard. So yeah, I know our our uh, there are people that just want to know what options do they have, what what can they do in this situation, and again, you're saying that both options are viable ones to pursue, correct? Yes, sir.